take advantage of an opportunity that came our way from the Great Lakes Commission. They announced uh, some pilot project funding to have some green infrastructure projects, kind of demonstration pilot projects. We were very fortunate. We kind of jumped on that opportunity and along with the Thames Valley District School Board, who came along as our partners, we were able to choose two pilot uh, areas. I think it's important because um, a lot of pollution goes into the Thames River and I think we need to do something about it. I also think it's important because um, this particular patch of uh, mulch and plants will soak up uh, rainwater 30% more effectively. This project comes as a result of the strong partnership that Thames Valley District School Board has with the Upper Thames River Conservation Authority. And we are very fortunate at our school to be able to celebrate both the partnership and the student learning that comes with a project of this kind. We're a school that's located in a very urban setting. However, we also have the benefit of being less than 200 meters from the Thames Valley, uh, from the Thames River. So our students kind of get the best of both worlds. They get to see how what they do at school has an impact on the greater community, but also on the larger environment. And they get to see firsthand how every little bit that they do helps. This rain garden has a dual purpose on a yard like ours with very little greenery on it. The garden with the natural filtration system built in underneath both beautifies the schoolyard but also does something good for the environment in that it filters the water before it gets to the river. So our kids get to see how all of the pieces fit together and it's a win-win both for our school, for our kids and for the environment. Uh, I think we're definitely involved in the process. I mean, we got to plant the plants and uh, put the mulch in and all that good stuff. So, yeah. I think it's, uh, we also, I also feel quite included in the process because we did a quite a big lead up to this and we've done a lot of planning for it too. It's important to learn about this as well because with the Thames, like a lot of our water here goes directly from the Thames water and it's not the like cleanest water. So we should um, put more of an effort to make it clean and safe for other people. And I've also learned that I actually love to plant. This was my first or second time planting, but I've never mulched before. And I quite enjoy that actually. Because I don't really have a garden at home and I didn't like, I just didn't know about like spacing up plants or anything like that. So I'm happy that I got to like learn about that stuff. And we're going to pass this sustainability concept to our kids, our future, right? And they're the one they should know about it because uh, they are the one who, who will be the flag bearer of this concept, right? We are the generation where we used uh, CSO's concept, combined sanitary overflow system, didn't work for us. And then we moved on to the conventional stormwater management system where we use pond and we came to know that, oops, that doesn't work. So now the LID is like the new concept for stormwater management, which means that we actually capture the water on site, clean it, delay it, and then release it. So involving the student will help big time. This is, this is unique. Uh, definitely it's the first time that uh, any project like this has happened in a schoolyard and our hope is that as people see how stormwater works this way, how low impact development uh, works and that there's low maintenance, we'll have more schools and more institutions do these types of things. I feel like whenever we set an example as a school to have all these like greenery near our storm drains and stuff like that, I think it sets off an example for other people too and it also helps like our school grows as a community.